heritage through tourism. And uh, this is particularly what's being celebrated today because uh, that's where Ayanda is and uh, the main celebrations are in uh, Potokwane, which is where Ayanda is actually broadcasting from. Or actually, Ayanda, where exactly are you broadcasting from within Limpopo? A very good morning to you once again, Leanne, and welcome to Ramahopa Stadium. That's exactly where we are. It is in Ward 3 in uh, Malmale, uh, the municipality there. But we're about 56 kilometers or so north of Polokwane, and that's exactly where you can find us if you want that GPS location. But yeah, this is where all roads are leading to today. If you're in and around this part of South Africa, that's where the official Heritage Day celebrations will be taking place. We are starting to see a steady flow of individuals uh, trickling into the stadium, making their way here for the main festivities. And one such person who is an official as well as a local here is the Premier of the province of Limpopo, Premier Stan Matabata. Very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Ayanda, and good morning to the viewers. I see you addressed the part as well, ne? not a suit and tie. It's almost heritage. I don't quite know which heritage, but it's close. You know, <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm trying to... Uh, bring some blend some blend and color to the event also i can see now you are the host we are your visitors today what can we expect from the proceedings you can expect a lot of festivities a lot of uh, very interesting and uh, historical things such as uh, your cultural dances you'll you'll be seeing the shikonas here today You'll be seeing the Dinakas, you'll be seeing the Shkombela. You know, Limpopo as the home of heritage, the home of uh, legions. Well, you will always have all this uh, cultural, um, the richness of uh, culture of uh, the, the Southern African people, not only the South, South African people. I've also been challenged when it comes to the food aspect. Someone wanted to know if I'm going to eat some tripe today and perhaps even some masonja. I said to them, the tripe, definitely any day. Masonja, we're working on it. But also when it comes to language, someone on Twitter, uh, Sydney Afropolitan says, I must learn to speak Sitokwa. It's a dialect of Sibeti in the province here. Yeah. Speak to us a little bit about some of the cultural dynamics. You spoke about the richness, but which areas are going to be promoted? I mean, there's someone who is saying here, we must narrate the Batokwa story for self-determination perhaps can we zone in on that yes you know it is it is not necessarily correct to say that Sitokwa is a dialect of the speed you know CPD it's a, a dominant dialect it's like English it's like Zulu uh, it's a dominant dialect of the northern Sotho languages uh, uh, dialects in fact but uh, normally you find that the dominant dialect also describes or defines the entire family of dialects. You know. So Sitokwa is another dialect. It's not necessarily, Sipedi is a dialect which is sort of dominant in this area, but it's actually a, a language that is traced to Raskuku. The Rapedis are from Raskuku. It's just that it has been a dominant dialect and then the entire a family of this kind of dialects of the northern Sotos, who are called uh, the Barbadies. Uh, the Batokwas are actually, um, in fact, we normally sort of trace them back to um, the man king, the legendary king Mantatise, um, uh, I mean Queen Mantatise, you know, um, who you would say is a it's, a, it's, it's sort of the founder of the Batokwa, the Batokwa uh, uh, tribe or tribes because you've got about four, I think, Batokwa tribes. You've got Batokwa Ramokopa, you've got Batokwa Mantata, Batokwa um, Bamachaka, and, and then that's this the fourth one, you know. I'm so glad that you, you've given us that insight into it, which is exactly why I think it's so important that we keep national events in, away from the, the main three provinces, I think, your, your Gauteng, your KwaZulu-Natal, and your Western Cape. So bringing the national event here to Limpopo, of what significance is it to you, do you think? And also, number two, why is it here? Does it rotate, or is it uh, lack of the draw? Do you, do you dice roll some 
dice and decide <laughs> which province is going to us next. So perhaps speak to us about the strategy of bringing it to Limpopo. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what informs this strategy of bringing it to Limpopo this year. But uh, I would suspect this is a question of rotation. I think, I guess Minister Natim Teta will, will answer that question quite better. But I think there can be no better place to locate this kind of event than Limpopo. Because as I said, in Limpopo you've got almost um, a number of cultural um, diversity, uh, diversified groups. In this, in this province you've got, you still have the richness of um, the Louis Trecha, the Africanas. You still have the richness of uh, the a lot of Kishnas, you still have uh, traditions. Uh, the English who were here in, in the 19th, early 19th century. You still have um, the richness of the Bapedis, uh, like we have already spoken about the Batongwa, the uh, You've got the Songas and the Shangans. Normally people tend to confuse the two, you know, and conflate them into one, yes. And then you still have the Bavendas, you know, who last week I was in Zata uh, with King Peburama Bulan, where I really saw the things that were established or perhaps were uh, built, the rings which were built in the 14th century already, they are still there, still intact and still preserved by the Bavenda people, you know. So, like I'm saying, there can be no better place to bring this kind of thing. A little bit earlier on the show, we had um, individuals who were active in preserving language as a, quite a critical living heritage and a component in, in the indigenous uh, knowledge systems that we have. And one of the laments that they had was perhaps that government can do more in um, translating some of the key documents into the indigenous languages that we have. Perhaps the signages can't just be in English and Afrikaans, we must include the local languages. What is your government doing provincially to make sure that uh, those advances are being made? You know, my, my um, observation has been that uh, there will always be uh, more that our people want from government. Um, signage is, you are right, perhaps we need to consider that, but as you would notice, basically English is the most dominant language uh, in, this, in this country. You go to any part, any corner of this country, you'll get at least one person or two people who understand English in this country, you know, because of the history of colonialization. But you are very right, and our people are very right, that uh, this is, uh, I mean, it's quite Im important, it's necessary now that we should uh, look into this issue of uh, translating the signages on their roots into the indigenous languages. But uh, government, this uh, uh, democratic government has tried till thus far to make it a point that in where it was written Louis Trichard, like uh, for, for example in the past, we put the signages that says Makado. Uh, where you would find that it's, uh, it's written Swane Booth, you know, and our people would co co uh, have a language, I mean a, a name, like for example, for example, Mahalani, you know, uh, we, we wrote those languages, you know, we wrote uh, those, th uh, th those signages in, in terms of those uh, indigenous languages of this province. Where, you know, you travel, take for example, you go to Skukun or around here, you know, you go around here, when you go to Haramko, in the past you wouldn't see a signage that says Haramko, but you'd see a sandwich that says plot number what what, you know. Mm -hmm. But today you've got these signages that says Haramko, Haramachaka, Hamantata, and, and, and so on and so forth, and all these kind of things in our own languages. And, and what of those who would say that perhaps going back and, 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 and redressing and, and re-establishing uh, those indigenous names, that that perhaps comes at the expense of nation building, of going forward, of moving into the future? How do we balance that, would you say? It can be. It can be. It can only anchor nation building. 
it can only anchor. You know, when you talk of nation building, this non-racial democratic society, this non-racial democratic society does not exist out of uh, non-entities. It exists built by specific entities which uh, talks to our diversity. That is why we're always saying we should celebrate and uh, appreciate the richness of our diversity and build our unity based on that. You know, yeah. This diversity must not divide us, it, was, it must unify us. Like when you hear the Dinaka like this, this is Kiva. Kiva, when Kiva plays like this, it must be supplemented by uh, your uh, Shukombela, for example, from the Bavenda. And then the Shukombela will be uh, uh, complemented by the brass band, you know. Brass band is not our culture, you know. Uh, it's not an indigenous culture, you know. It came with the missionaries in the Bay. But uh, it's currently building part of the heritage of this country because it's part and parcel of this richness of our, our diversity, which brings together the unity of the South African people. So and, and, and just lastly, perhaps, how, how, does, how do you manage it when it comes to making sure that there is unity? We sometimes see, especially with the demarcation battles, where people are saying, um, you know, the vendors are being prioritized, or uh, the Siberi-speaking the South Africans are being prioritized, or I uh, know just because uh, the Premier, Kimopedi, uh, Rona Mandebele, we are being sidelined, or, or, or Rona, who speak Chichonga, we are, we are being marginalized. How do you then, as government, both provincially and, and, and nationally make sure that all the concerns of South Africans are equally addressed? We are very sensitive to that, more especially in this province, because in this province you have about five different cultural groups. We, 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 we are very sensitive to that. But in most instances, you know, you'll understand our people when they say, when a premier, for example, is a, is a baby speaking person, is a, uh, they, they will, the, the others will, in one way or another, sometimes feel, uh, in most instances, that is uh, far fetched. You know, there is no nothing of that nature. Like, for example, you would find people saying that. For example, in the executive council, it's only the Barbados. But you look at the executive council, you realize that, hey, there is almost everything there, you know. You'll have a Mashamba who's Changan, you'll have a Ndalan who's Changan, you'll have, you'll have uh, an Ndo who's Venda, you'll have um, um, a Matsuhe who's uh, Mutswana from the Lepalale area, you, you'll remember that. We'll have uh, in Tabazimbi Lepalale, we've got Matswana, who's a Mutswana person. You'll have uh, a Mugaba who's Mubedi, and uh, um, who's this? Mugaba is Mubedi also. Um, but uh, generally, and uh, Rob Tuli, Tuli is English, you know. Uh, so you, you'll have almost everybody there, but still, you'll still find people who are saying, I don't enjoy it with my baby, <laughs> you see. Despite the fact that uh, in this province you've got more than 68% of the population being paid. Now, while, of course, we look into those critical components of heritage, we need not forget that this is a celebration of all that is doing well, that all that is working, the color that is around us. I don't know if this camera can do justice to show you just how beautifully adorned the ladies and the gentlemen are today. We'll hopefully bring you that throughout the course of this broadcast. But uh, Premier Stan Matabata, my thanks to you, who not only spoke to us in his capacity as a Premier today, but I saw a historian there. Hey? Did you learn on some of those? Some of those cultural aspects. I was taking mental loads. Get download Dilas Kawara. Thanks okay. so much, Premier. Yeah, okay. My thanks to you for joining us. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Stay with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.